What's up guys, welcome to Among the Fence, my YouTube channel where I do music reviews. My name is Aaron, and on this new Music Friday, we got a lot, a lot of bangers coming out. There's some, some new stuff from some newer bands, and we got some stuff from bands that they're finally releasing their album that they've been putting singles out for almost, almost over a year for some of these bands. And I'm obviously not going to be able to touch on every single thing that's coming out for tomorrow, which is August 13th, or even just over the course of this whole week. So if I miss something that you're looking forward to, go ahead and leave a comment below letting me know what it is. It, not like I go through and pick out specific things. A lot of times I just overlook stuff or I just don't, I just don't find it. And the whole point in this segment is to discover new music, specifically for me and people who are watching. Maybe I touch on something that nobody's heard before. Or somebody leaves a comment below letting us know that this new band's coming out with something and it totally rips so we all get a chance to listen to it. That's the whole point in this. And while you're down there letting us know what you're looking forward to, leave a comment below letting me know what I should review next and I'll get that taken care of for you too. And the first thing we gotta talk about is that new Slaughter to Prevail though. The Costume album is finally coming out. If you didn't pick up on the whole me throwing shade at bands, that uh, are finally releasing an album after their first single for the album came out. This is the one. Demolisher came out like a year and like a week or two ago, something along those lines, a very long time ago. In fact, when it, like I forgot that Demolisher was even going to be on this album. And every single I've heard from this album is it, it's great. And even if Demolisher is a little bland and it's a little slaughter to prevail cliche and fits into their whole kind of one trick pony thing that they have going on it's still it's still a great fun song it's heavy as balls the focal point is alex's vocals which is tremendous and they sound inhuman as ever and it's the first time i'm actually looking forward to a slaughter to prevail album i've heard some of their old stuff it gets kind of old and monotonous after a while and i feel like this album is just kind of it's broadening the band's horizons at least a little bit Lorna Shore is also releasing their EP, Return to the Nothingness. I feel like this is really quick from when their first single came out to Hellfire, which I did a review on and I liked quite a bit. I'm just kind of curious to hear what else Will Ramos is going to do on this EP. He brought so much to, uh, to the Hellfire and I feel like he's just a perfect fit for this band. He just seems like He's just so stoked to be part of it. If you follow him on Instagram, all of his posts revolving around the band, he's just super excited. He's so into it, and it seems like he's kind of honored to be part of the band in a way. And I don't want to compare him to his predecessors, but I feel like they'll probably have better luck with him, and he's going to stick around quite a bit longer than CJ did. Dragged Under released a new single titled Broadcast featuring Spencer Chamberlain from Under Oath. This is one of my favorite hardcore bands, and they're just a group of super cool dudes. I met fluff or ryan bruce who is the guitar player and tony who's the vocalist back when they were in rest repose and i gotta admit i wasn't that big of a fan of rest repose i went to one of their concerts back in 2017 and i basically just went to support the guys uh, back when jared dines was in the band as well and i was just a big fan of them and i got a chance to hang out with tony at the end of one of the shows and it was just was just an awesome time getting to hang out with them and when i heard that they were breaking off and they were starting a new band called dragged under it's gonna be more hardcore tony says it's gonna have a lot more energy i was all about it and i also this is kind of like a side note but are the musicians from under oath basically just musicians to hire now this is the second time i've seen spencer in a feature in like the past two weeks and also I saw Aaron Gillespie, he's a feature on some hip hop artist thing where it's a guy named um, Sup Mike Check. He sent me a message on Instagram asking me to review his music and it features Aaron Gillespie on it. And I was just kind of weirded. I'm just seeing these guys pop up all over as special features. And sorry, Sup Mike Check, but your music doesn't really fit my um the genres that i cover but it is good though i enjoyed it quite a bit and the message is super fantastic so if you're into something a little bit more heartfelt kind of hip-hop check out sup mike check and his feature with aaron gillespie <laughs> the sepultura is releasing their live album sepulchorta i believe it's how it's pronounced it's a live album that they recorded 
uh, last year during the summertime when everybody was quarantined. Uh, this is kind of embarrassing because these, this band has 15 albums. They've been around since 84 or 85 or something like that. And I haven't listened to more than like four or five of their songs. If somebody just put on an out like one of their songs on Spotify or something like I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to guess that it was them. So I kind of want to get into this band a little bit more. If you guys are familiar with their music or you're fans of theirs or you just have a favorite album, leave a comment below letting me know what it is or where a good place to start is or even just requesting an album for me to review and I'll do a review on it. And this live album has tons and tons of guests from Scott Ian, from Anthrax, Devin Townsend from the the Devin Townsend Project, and Matt Heafy from Trivium is just, it's a loaded album. It would be kind of fun to check this one out as well. We have a lot more singles from new albums coming out this week. Volumes released a new track. I don't believe it's from an upcoming album, not completely sure. We got another track from Trivium titled Feast of Fire from their upcoming album. War of Ages, Thrice, Hawthorne Heights. They're all releasing their new singles. We're basically just waiting around for the albums to finally drop. I'm really interested in that Trivium album. I think that one might be like album of the year contender if I'm going to be 100% honest. Hawthorne Heights, I listened to their first single. It's kind of embarrassing to say the least. Thrice was... Thrice was all right, and I haven't listened to War of Ages. I'm going to wait for that album to come out. I might not do a review on it, though. I don't know. We'll see how I'm feeling. But Volumes, I'm pretty excited for that new Volumes track as well. Machine Gun Kelly released a new track earlier this week titled Paper Cuts. And as painful as it is for everybody in the Pop Punk for Kids music group, which is over 100,000 people in that group, which it's an absolute dumpster fire. Dumpster fire of a group. Like somebody would post something saying like his last album wasn't that bad and there would literally be a thousand comments not even kidding a thousand comments telling that that person that they should die and kill themselves it's just absolutely horrible and i don't hate his last album i don't love it i think he had a pretty smooth transition going into pop punk and he did an okay job with it i probably won't be touching this song though it's not really it's not really my thing it's a little bit less the, it's a little bit less punk and a little bit more pop than my taste is concerned. I listened to it earlier. It's not that bad. I feel like it's, like I said, it's a smooth transition. He's doing a good job. I hope he grows into it more. And he's actually, he's doing a lot for the pop punk community. He's bringing it back up more into the spotlight. And he's making moves for the genre that it really, it really did need. And that is it for New Music Friday. And like I said, I wasn't going to touch on everything. It'd be like an hour long video if I did. So if I didn't talk about something that you're looking forward to coming out, leave a comment below letting us know what it is. Maybe, maybe it's just not on my radar. And the whole point of this, like I said before, is to discover new music, not just for me, but other people that go through the comments looking for new stuff. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like. If you want to see more of these videos and you're just interested in heavy metal, metalcore reviews, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell icon. That way you don't miss out on any of my future contents. And leave a comment below letting me know what I should review next. If you do any of that stuff, I just appreciate it more than you guys could ever imagine. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day or night and weekend. Whenever you happen to be watching this. And I will talk to you guys next time. I was